Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. One day, you will look at someone who has a headache and you say, can I pray with you? And you have barely brought your hand to touch the person and the person is healed. While men are clapping for you, God says, let's go back to class quickly. Quickly. Don't be carried away. Please help them. You don't carry the presence of God just as, no. There is a real track record of many years of consistency. Listen, the destruction in our generation is why people don't have power. You give God five minutes, you are bathing while you are praying in tongues and you just shower quickly praying in tongues and making call and insulting in the process and you come out and you just believe that arbitrarily you will have power over nations and territories Abba! believers let's go back to the ancient pattern that brought power to men I challenge you go back and shift the programs in your life and create a consistent space for your prayer life and your fellowship with God I challenge you get a flash drive put together powerful worship songs apostle I can't sing I didn't say you are the one who will sing let someone do the singing for you God gave you a phone not just for browsing some of us are addicted to this social media thing for God's sake. I'm not against it, but you must be delivered from that spirit. If not, you will never have power with God. Hear me. If a major part of your life is seen by men, you are not glorious. Everything that is glorious is veiled. A major part of your life must be hidden in the secret place. Anna the prophet has taught us how to bring things down. Whoever can bring Jesus down from heaven can bring any other thing from the realm of the spirit to this realm. Anna the prophetess, the same thing consistently. Do you know how many of you got born again? Ask your mothers. Mama was not a powerful Christian. She didn't know much. But every night, 12 on the dot, no matter what your discussion is, she has to go and meet with God. God, I cannot sing, but use one of my children. 1981, she prayed it. 1985, she prayed it. 1990, she prayed it. And while you were on your way strolling to the club, the angel that was sent to defend that sacrifice, there are angels that defend sacrifices. This is why the Bible says, He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings. There are angels sacrifices substance in the spirit it can be defended by the jealousy of god that's why god does things for people for the sake of others are you learning something tonight so when you pray in the spirit it's not just that you are on your way to become an emoji no it's not just you are your way to become a woman of god you are converting relationship to power and to the final product it can be a job it can be whatever 
prayer is not just for deliverance alone the primary assignment of prayer is for fellowship and intimacy and so while it is night no noise you are alone with God there's worship just like this playing Lord just to let you know that I love you I'm available to be used by God and there are angels watching there are demons watching the demons that stop your family are also watching they are witnesses of your sacrifice may God deliver this our generation from laxity and unseriousness someone looks at you and says I am your boss I promise you except this is not my company you will be fired don't fight if you fight physically you are not wise remember in the Bible and through history believers don't just fight physically yet they go to the realm of the spirit while that man is sleeping Shalis you are programming your climate that man is sleeping and is having a vision of a warning yes beware that lady you see is not just a clerk there is a covenant on her life behave yourself he will get up he won't tell you he had the dream he just says how are you this morning i hope you everything have you eaten are you all right our excessive lamentation is proof that we do not know how to correct things in the spirit your church is not growing and you are wondering why and you go back and the spirit of god comes upon you his power comes and the lord says you are missing it here you are not getting it here there is a principle you do not understand This is a generation that only understands power. Nobody will just believe in you for nothing. Believe me. People need real results in their lives. If you are in ministry here or you are going into ministry, please hear me. Among the many things that you need is true spiritual power. Genuine power that produces real results. Otherwise, get ready for empty pews. hallelujah is someone ready to pray we're going to take 10 minutes and we're going to pray in the spirit now hear me be sensitive to the Holy Ghost as you pray for many of you as you are praying the first revival tonight is your prayer life and your relationship with the Holy Ghost suddenly you will find out that your all these appetites that continue to eat up your time are suddenly going away are we together are you ready to pray? Lift your voice and begin to cry to the Lord in one minute. But you shall receive power. Ebenezer, the helper of men. Alanda sabrakato sali parasha na brahaskabaria. Now, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were gathered together in one accord. Shalata paruka tapariya takates. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Be serious. Saparuta Saprande Kaparudia La Hasabara Parado Sapranda Kalapratesa de Bagata Sakatekate Bagata Proto Soto Paria Tabara The Making of Man the making of men, the consistency 
that translates relationship to power haroda shalam prakato setelesh kaparuda selesh em prakata kata pakato prakato soto barikate swallowing up your weaknesses rakata paruto soto predakate swallowing up your ignorance skamadanda prakato skala pratakato sasyata hasa Que para o chamaru sate kota selata em pra koto soto paru kato saprakete em pra kato jaleta prakete paru tos prakata prakato soto prakete kete em te prakete kete kete prakato sapesh shakete kete rakata prakato soto prakato siasa. Aleluia, aleluia, aleluia. Please, everyone, say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare a fresh reconnection to the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Spirit, I desire a fresh relationship with you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hala paruto shopre gede balada ba. Shada balada mo shibada dada. Fresh relationship with the Holy Spirit. Parato sali prakato sala ten dega ten. Leka prakato soto prakato shiala paranda sala kosh. E prakato shobrondo soto prakade bala prakata. Alleluia. Alleluia. Listen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying. Jesus said, My house whether it is a church building or your body it is all his house he said there is a name it must be called it must be called the house of prayer so if your body is the house of god you prove that it is truly the house of god by turning it into a house of prayer say in the name of jesus i declare from tonight that this house becomes a house of prayer and a house of power lift your voice and begin to pray power in the heavens power from the realm of the spirit Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please look up. Look up, everyone. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 28 that having arrived an island called Melita, the sea was boisterous, and when everyone was panicking, the angel of the Lord appeared unto Paul and told him, There shall be no loss and the bible says they arrived safely at an island called melita and while they were gathering sticks everybody watch this do you know while they were gathering sticks there was a viper in the stick 
but because of how cold the stick was the viper could not be released the moment they set those sticks on fire the viper that was hiding could no longer hide it is because your life is too cold that's why there are certain things hiding and will not be revealed the moment your life is set on fire through the ministry of prayer the things that are hidden begin to be made manifest in one minute say in the name of jesus every planting that is not of the lord in my life as i pray be exposed lift your voice and pray hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points and i'll begin to minister In the name of Jesus. Listen. Please listen. The Bible says, The moment John, the prophet, brought Jesus out of the waters, it says the heavens opened and the Spirit of God came. Remember, power is always after the Holy Ghost. Now, when the Holy Ghost came on Jesus, he was not manifesting power yet immediately the bible says the spirit drove him to the wilderness and for 40 days he was praying and fasting and having been tempted of the devil and he overcame him in matthew chapter 4 the bible says and he returned in the power he went full of the spirit but he returned in the power and between his going and his coming the only thing we see is prayer for 40 days of generating spiritual power he returned in the power and his fame spread abroad say in the name of jesus every attack on my prayer life every attack on my spiritual life every attack on my consistency in the name of Jesus, be destroyed right now. Lift your voice and pray. Every destruction. hallelujah in the name of Jesus 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 the last prayer point has to do with your destiny it says lo I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will listen to me the gates of your destiny will never open 
until you pray let me show you a mystery and then i'll begin to minister are you ready acts chapter 12 from verse 1 Please don't be distracted. Don't worry, you will submit your request. Hang on. Will soon allow you to submit your request follow this scripture this is the last prayer point now about the time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church next verse we're reading the first 10 verses he killed james the brother of john with the sword and when he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of the unleavened bread, except for verse 4. And when he had apprehended him, watch this, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. This is the wickedness that prevails in our world. The condition to be a victim of wickedness is to be born by a woman. You don't have to trouble anybody. Just arrive here and that's it. You have satisfied the condition. Peter therefore was kept in prison. Talk to me, Southeast. But prayer, but prayer, not and prayer, but prayer was made how long? The key is not prayer. The key is consistency. But prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Now watch the miracle. Verse 6. And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, while Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keep us before the door of the prison seven my goodness my god behold an angel so there is a relationship between prayer and angels they don't just come they are instructed to come the angels would have when they killed james where were the angels it meant someone on earth who was not praying was authorizing darkness to continue are you getting what i'm saying now the same angels were still in heaven when they were killing james but when they caught peter they said enough is enough and they began to pray and the angel said now you authorize our ministry on earth and the angel of the lord came to him watch this and a light shined in prison and he smote peter by the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off his hand so prayer can remove chains we're examining what prayer can do the second thing that prayer can do is in the next verse please get this revelation next verse hmm. and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and he did and he also cast his garment and followed him so prayer can bring restoration his garment his shoes everything had been taken away from him prayer did not only remove the chains prayer brought back the things that he lost number three verse nine now this is where i want your eyes to be open he went out prayer can bring advancement he was in the prison and it was on account of prayer the angel said follow me it's time to go forward now watch this he followed him and wished not that it was true which was done by the angel but he thought he was in a vision verse 10 and when they were past what the first and the second gates hold on in this story there are three gates to every man's destiny from the prison there was the first gate 
he was out of the first gate but he was not yet free the first gate he moved past the second gate he was no longer in the prison but he was not out either ways and he came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate which led to where this is the gate that controls influence the moment this gate opens the city must receive your ministry please hear me you can be doing ministry you are not in prison but you are not in the city the iron gate is still a limitation the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder so when our father was standing here yesterday and speaking that the gates be open i'm sure many of you just think it's just a lot of nonsense and gibberish these are mysteries the bible says the iron gate that led to the city and it opened on its own accord you can be in enugu for 10 years 20 years and you are just moving around you are moving in the open but in the realm of the spirit the gate is closed are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus every gate closing against my destiny be open now lift your voice and pray please help them lift your voice and pray be open now. Be open now. The iron gate that opens up my business. The iron gate that opens up my ministry. The iron gate that opens up my destiny. hallelujah praise the name of the lord hallelujah listen i told you that hold on please you, you, you okay maybe you, you just keep them there i hope the fan will not push them please we're about to step into a very serious prophetic moment in this meeting right now and i like for your heart to be very sensitive Number one, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, just wave it up and there will be people. Please, all the ushers holding the baskets, let them know where you are and they will pass it. Don't fight, don't fight, please. You can pass it to the last person, he will help you drop it. Please make sure those outside are also receiving it and make sure that our online community, those who are following from whatever part of the world, are part of this I'm about to pray for the sick I'm about to pray that the yokes that tie the destinies of men please hear me in the name of Jesus except it is not the god of heaven we are serving if there is anything that has kept you not tomorrow this night it must go yeah. hallelujah The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing like a saxophone in the spirit. This is what I'm seeing. And it's a sound that the Lord is about to blow from the realm of the spirit in this room. Please listen. It's a sound of deliverance. 
please hear me whether inside or outside we're about to shout just one shout and anything that is not of the Christ tying down your destiny tying down your foundations I tell you it must give way not now not tomorrow I meant to say but right now father by the ministry of the Spirit by the ministry of angels scattered in and out of this place oh God are great people who have been tied down I'm telling you and seen several chains in the spirit this is what I'm seeing at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus inside and outside please bring all the people who have been delivered there is massive deliverance God is visiting foundations are you ready at the count of three over Enugu I speak to the realm of the spirit and I declare the time for the liberty of the saints has come get ready now one two three shout Jesus I command every power I command every yoke be broken now be broken now bring them out be broken now inside outside be broken now I command power, I command yoke, be lifted all ye gates, and be ye lifted in shadow. Let the King of Glory come, let the King of Glory come, let the King of Glory come. In the name of Jesus, bring them out. Bring them out. There is a chain I'm seeing on ladies. I don't know what this means. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, you will shout that name. I'm seeing fire coming around the belly areas of people. There is massive deliverance going on. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Rekete koto shopeke telekata, embrekete soto pa shupa teata. I command altars, I tear down altars, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance, speaking against your destiny, speaking against you. We nullify it by the blood of the eternal covenant. Kebron de soso zekete, embrekete leke proskoto patushia. hallelujah please look up just asking me to do delay there are families you have been tied down for many years you are moving people are not moving in life and in ministry at the count of three the power of god is going to locate you where you are and that chain will be broken father anyone here under the siege of delay at the count of three may the fire fall on that destiny one two three be free now be free now be free now i cause delay over our families i cause delay over our destinies i cause delay inside out online i declare delay be broken Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who is Chidima? Chidima. I hear the name Chidima. You are wearing a red hair tie. Chidima. Who is that? You are wearing like a red hair tie. Is there someone like that? Come. Shali Barus Kabanda Hashala Bakurieteba. Madam, please come. Listen, in one minute, lift your voice. Mention what must live your life now. Please open your mouth and pray. These Egyptians that you see today, that you shall see them no more forever. Don't be silent. Open your mouth and pray. Prayer can break chains. 
prayer can restore prayer can advance South East pray and who could pray in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah now listen madam please look at me tap this woman for me I don't know who this woman is but I'm seeing a lot of oppression around your family madam look at me where is your husband Huh? your husband tell him the month of january 2021 is his month of breakthrough for the family i declare in the name of jesus that this oppression comes to an end now <laughs> who is christopher i'm hearing the name christopher you are holding a child christopher i'm seeing a baby like a female christopher who is that atmosphere This man is not holding a baby now. I saw a baby in my... Okay. Your name is Christopher. Yes, is this sir. your child? Yes, sir. Your name is Christopher yes, too. Sir. You are holding a child. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray. Don't worry, you came. I saw a lady, but I hope the girl is not crying. Yes. If she's crying, let any woman who can help with children help her. My friend, is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From, from, from Onicha. Onicha? Yes, sir. You came for this conference? Yes, sir. What do you do? I do I do transportation business. No, that's not the only thing you do. I do I, I learn trade, Mo old motor spare parts. I'm seeing you sell spare parts. Yes, sir. This is the real thing you do. Yes, sir. Transportation yes, sir. is just once in a while. Yes, sir. You are not very consistent yes, sir. in it. Yes, sir. Because I'm looking at someone that God is going to grant you grace. That spare part, there is an anointing on it for you. Amen. Listen, it's important that you are divinely directed. Don't just do things because people are doing it. It may end you in a lot of casualty. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. Name of Jesus. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you. What is NEE? -E? Huh? like a name something attached to a person's name is there something like that i don't know if you understand what i'm saying like n then e again eh? no your name is not me i'm seeing the angel of the lord telling me your name who is nena is that not your name come I've been having revelations about too much noise, my, my sister. Just keep quiet. Huh? Stand up. Stand up. Two weeks ago, you saw me in your dream. Yes, sir. Keep quiet. I was telling these people about it. That I've been having revelations. Yes, yes. Wait now. No. Let me talk to you, my sister. <laughs> Listen. It's true. <laughs> God wants to help you. But don't be embarrassed, eh? The only thing you need to work on is communication, your words. If you can work on that one, it will deliver you from a lot of trouble. But you are a woman that is greatly favored by God. I pray for you right now. No, no, you don't have to touch me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. I'm seeing Kai. I'm going to pray about one, two, three, four, five years. No child. No child. 
the angel of the Lord is telling me, okay, five years, don't just come out. We'll pray, please, I'll send you back if it's, if it's not five years. In the name of Jesus, let's behave ourselves. Are we together? You and your wife. Ah. Do you believe that next year by this time? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. See, Amen. listen. Listen. Let me teach you something. It is pride to administer at a level of grace you do not have. The Bible says that we minister according to the measure of grace. That means before you talk, you must be able to examine whether you have the level of grace to sponsor that spiritual reality. Now, listen, there are so many people who are coming out now for various reasons. Um, it will be rowdy. I've not started praying for the sick yet and all of that. I'm just, I'm talking of people five years. This is what God told me. Five years. Where is your husband? He's not, he, he was here in the body. He couldn't come to see me. What do you do? I'm an event planner. You believe that God... Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. And that's Jesus! In the name of Jesus. My sister, I pray for you. I don't care what the medical situation is. According to the time of life, return back to your children. Help her, please. I'm interested in this man. You are, are you a man of God? Yes, sir. Please, where? In Enugu here, sir. In Enugu here? Yes, sir. And your wife? Yes, sir. How long, sir? Five years, sir. Five years. Yes, sir. And this is your wife? Yes, sir. Madam, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, I'm praying this prayer in public. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. I prophesy to you both according to the time of life. You see what is happening to your wife? In the name of Jesus, I speak to that womb. Be open now. Be open now. Carry your children by the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus. I salute you, sir, for being a man of God. And in spite of all this challenge, you are still on. Most people may never understand what it means to be in pain. You are setting others free from what you are going through. It is painful. We salute you. We honor you for your diligence for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I have spoken over your life. Go and you will return back with your testimony. In Jesus' name. Five years. The power of God is going to come upon one of you now. After that, I will, pr I will pray for the rest. Help her. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. And that plague of witchcraft, I curse it now. Now! Release her womb. Now! Release her womb. Now! There are three of you that I'm praying this for. Because I'm seeing what looks like a snake tying your stomach. I declare by the Spirit of the Christ, release that womb now. And I speak to you who have been trusting God for five years in the name of Jesus and according to the time of life. Sir, you are a man of God too? Oh dear. How many of you here are men of God in ministry? In ministry. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In ministry. Actively preaching. Please come. You are a pastor in this city, sir? Yes, sir. How long have you been trusting Nine God? Years. Nine years. Yes, sir. Oh, sir, I'm looking at you. Is your wife here? Huh? I want to talk to you. I don't know why God is interested in you. Who has been trusting God for 13 years? Yes, 13 years. 13 years. years. 2007. How many years now? 13 years. This is what I'm saying. Come and stand here. It's time for this to end in your life. <laughs> Madam, where are you? Kai, God, please don't come out at random. If you do this, we'll not be able to do. Don't worry. And don't feel bad that maybe God is calling some. It's not my doing. I'm only just obedient to what the Holy Ghost is doing. But you can be sure that everybody will receive something. 
Are we together now? Sir, God has seen your heart and he really wants to help you. You are a good man and God wants to help you. Yes, sir. 13 years. The Lord is giving a baby boy to a woman called Ifoma. Who is Ifoma? What's your name? Ifoma. God is giving you the miracle of a baby boy. My, look at me, madam. Do you believe what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't just, if you don't believe, say I don't believe you are an all, but I want you to believe it and receive it. I I, I, do it. I know you, sir? I don't know anything about you, no, madam. Sir. In the name of Jesus, right now, the spirit that is holding fruitfulness over this family, I come against it now. Amen. 13 years of oppression, 13 years of barrenness, you come under judgment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I release you right now in Jesus' name. God bless you, sir. Please go and return with your testimony. You are a pastor? Please come, sir. And your wife, how long? Okay, you said nine years. Is your wife pregnant? Is she okay? Yes, sir. Madam, I need to pray for you. Don't feel embarrassed. There's something in your stomach. Huh? I will pray for you. This is it's not for public discussion, but in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for your glory, do a miracle in the life of this man and his wife. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Huh. This is amazing. I'm stretching my hands here, but the person the power of God will touch is in the crowd now. A loud shout. Will come from that person i'm praying for this person but the devil has programmed the same thing happening to this man to happen to that person and god is going to deliver that person now a loud shout not a random shout the holy ghost the power of the holy ghost is coming on that person right now this is what god is telling me a loud shout to the hearing of everyone that person shouting the Lord himself is delivering that person from this situation. Sir, I speak to you according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus, return with your miracle. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are a pastor, sir. God bless you, sir. You can return back. Let me pray for you and your dear wife. You pastor your own church? Yes. I have to pray for you. Madam, you're a good woman, but I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. I'm just seeing a body alone. In the name of Jesus, I blot out everything that does not represent the counsel of the Christ. For you, sir, and for your dear wife, I declare in the name of Jesus, the anointing of the spirit is coming on your wife. And in the name of Jesus Christ, an end comes to this captivity. There is a strong teaching anointing, sir, that is upon your life, but God is going to be multiplying it. Amen. A strong grace, Amen. a revelatory teaching grace, yes, yes. God is giving you. Amen. But alongside it, I'm seeing the healing anointing too, yes, yes. that God is bringing oh, to your God. life. These two graces will be the signature graces of your ministry. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus, may the Lord do this miracle for you. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Are you men of God? You are a pastor? How long have you been married, sir? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Your wife? Please see me after service, sir. Huh? You understand? Just see me after service. This, your wife? Five years. Victory. Victory. That's somebody's name victory not victoria oh, victory like victory i don't know who that person is victory no it's not a man it's a lady victory is there don't worry don't if there's your name is victory where are you coming from my dear you are in Enugu here i stretch my hands this oppression that i see over your family by the anointing of the holy ghost be free from it now be free from it now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Sir, I pray for you 
in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every abnormality around your bodies is corrected right now in the name of Jesus you go and return back with supernatural miracles to the glory of the name of the Lord in Jesus name for all of you who are standing wow we have to rush in the name of Jesus I pray for you let the power of the Holy Spirit open up your wombs in the name of Jesus return with your miracles return with your miracles in the name of Jesus God bless you let's pray for the sick now how many of you are trusting God for a miracle in one area of your life or the other okay now right where you are just lay your hands there you don't have to come out lay your hands there I want to pray for you now please be sensitive we have to hurry up because um, when I pray for you I'm going to invite a few of the fathers in the land we are going to stand here and prophetically we are going to be activating destinies in this place hallelujah praise the name of the Lord lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle now we just have about 10 minutes for this watch this please can I have um, maybe if you can help us arrange one or two pastors so that when I pray for you as soon as I ask you to check yourself miracles will begin to happen in this place inside and outside and when you find out that the power of God has touched you I want you to run out maybe we can have here and here and then we can have a few pastors you confirm them and then we'll take the testimony so maybe the pastors can coordinate themselves very quickly lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and now is also the time where you can stand for someone thank you Jesus I like you to agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now listen the healing anointing will begin to flow through this place there are two people the Lord is revealing to me inside here they are going to shout loud by the Spirit the moment that shout comes I don't know why God does this sometimes the healing anointing will begin to flow two of them I'm ready to pray for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke every spirit of infirmity I rebuke every devil of infirmity the spirits that are behind infirmities behind diseases behind discomforts behind afflictions I come against you in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare right now from the left to the right the front to the back inside outside online I declare be healed in the name of Jesus the healing power of Jesus Christ is flowing to you right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus I'm seeing breast lump living the Lord is healing breast lump in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone here you have hold on please you have like a urinary problem you urinate frequently sometimes even out of control the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone is it that you are completely deaf or you don't hear completely with your right ear let it be open right now in the name of Jesus now I declare deaf ears be opened now in the name of Jesus every form of blindness complete blindness partial blindness be healed now in the name of Jesus I pray everyone on crutches everyone on wheelchairs in the name of Jesus let the power of God touch you right where you are in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone with severe heart palpitations 
the power of God is coming upon you right now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus there is someone you don't smell you don't smell very well as I'm praying for you right now the power of God is coming upon you in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone you have severe pain at your right side but the Lord is healing you right now this young lady come this little this little girl this fair lady come how old are you my dear you are 12 years I want to pray for you this lady you see is a very great lady as I'm looking at her in the realm of the spirit I don't know you but while I was praying the Holy Spirit directed me to you and he said I should anoint you the grace that was on Queen Esther is upon this girl in the name of Jesus Christ I declare you carry that grace be favored above your contemporaries that everywhere you go may that grace locate you in the mighty name of Jesus there's someone with pile you can't go to the toilet easily you have severe pain sometimes you are bleeding the power of God is touching you right now right now I'm seeing a lady whether is the time for your menstrual cycle or not at any time you can just begin to have hemorrhage in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon you right now pounding migraine headache you wake up in the morning you can't even shake your head because of severe pain the power of God is coming upon you right now now whether I mention your situation or not in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now there's someone is like you have a boil I don't know where exactly around your body and it keeps going and returning going and returning the power of God is touching you right now you will check that boil and not find it again in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you had a dream and in that dream is like an animal looks like a dog or something was chasing you and that dog beat you and from that time you've had continuous sickness again and again in the name of Jesus the Bible declares that even the lawful captive shall be delivered I declare be free right now everywhere inside outside I speak to you by the spirit of grace be free right now now listen to me in one minute we may not we may just have five or six minutes for testimonies I want you to check yourself and while we are celebrating Jesus there are some of you even before I started ministry while you came out under the anointing here several miracles have happened check yourself the moment you find out that a miracle has happened come boldly I want you to use either of the aisles inside or outside the people are lifting their hands celebrate Jesus people are coming out celebrate Jesus people are coming out Please come out quickly quickly let's take a few testimonies let's take a few testimonies please be seated come out very quickly we may have a few minutes and then we can just do the prophetic part of the meeting and we're done for tonight those who are coming from outside please allow them come are you celebrating miracles people are coming out creator of the universe what can you do what can't you do, Jesus? Enugu, are you celebrating miracles? The name above every name. What can't you change? It's a miracle, yes, sir. What can't you change, Jesus? There's a miracle here. He said that yesterday when you prayed for somebody who had a moving object in his yes body, immediately you prayed that thing stopped completely run check yourself is there anything moving in your body any pain no pain at all come on celebrate jesus come sir 
let him come allow him hold my hands grace for you in the name of jesus you will never be the same again yes she, please she came in here tonight with an ulcer pain ulcer for oh. how long sir how long many years how so, many years so many again? years so many years so many years but please. why you pray right now he's gone completely you go and check yourself medically thank you jesus in the name of jesus hold my hands my dear it will never return to you again by the power of the holy ghost yes please go ahead sir he has been experiencing ulcers and also cough and kata ulcer why, again yes why prayer was going on the thing ceased instantly come right where you are lift your hands in the name of jesus the anointing of the holy ghost is coming upon you you will never be the same again i release that grace upon you in jesus name yes please the next person very quickly My sir, God, miracles are happening here okay sir she said she had the experience of moving objects in her stomach how Why long my dear what's your name my name is chica okay how long has it been um like um four months now okay and what happened tonight yesterday you prayed and the thing left today again it came back but as i was here you when you while you're praying the thing left it and left yes shout jesus as loud as you can jesus in the name of jesus it never returns to you again god bless you yes please there's a miracle here you just mentioned somebody who had a hemorrhage whether it's her period or not oh my she god she's bleeding since 2008 she said why before you started praying the thing ceased instantly completely yes. come on give jesus praise come you are able great and mighty god you are able, Jesus. Lay your hand on your chest. I command that devil, let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, out of her life and out of her body, now and forever. In the name of Jesus, my dear, you are made whole. Turns to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. This woman here, she said she saw in a dream last monday you praying for her that the child in the womb was abridged and because of that she could not stand on her feet oh the child was it, abridged yes and you could not stand yes but and right now what happened she can stand the very child well. is corrected yes. come on now oh dear look we have to sing one Igbo song <laughs> That's all I know. Come on, sing with me. Yes, go ahead. Sir, this man here came with a very severe headache as you prayed. Now. Headache. Severe headache. Yes, man. Yes. Gone. And right it's now, gone it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you. Celebrate Jesus. Go ahead. Sir. We have just a few more minutes and then we'll just pray generally because we have to do the impartation now. This young man is having issue with going to the toilet, but immediately you mentioned his issue. He fell under the anointing and that was... Issues the going to the toilet. Yes, sir. Pile. Yes, sir. You don't even know how long. Five years. For five years. You can't go to the toilet easily. I used to go to toilets once in four days. Once in four days? Yes, wow. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if that is healthy. But come, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, my friend. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. I command that it lets you go now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. I believe in miracles. Six years moving objects and pain. Completely gone. Completely gone. It's coming upon you to grant you access to very strange opportunities hold my hands in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you you move into that realm in the spirit in the name of jesus yes please sir this young lady here has two Let's, testimony um i will pray there are so many miracles maybe we'll just take two or maybe two or three more if we can i know that some of you are itching to testify just share with them some striking ones we can just take two or three and then i pray generally i know many of you have been touched but time may not allow so that we can quickly do the impartation i'm still around i'm still around tomorrow i'm still around thursday we're having a meeting in another assembly so 
we're going to trust God. This will be a continuation of what God is doing. Go ahead. Yes, yes please. sir. She had 17 years West pain gone completely right now. This lady. This lady. And second one, her right ear. She cannot hear completely with it, but right now she can completely. hear. Completely. Yes. Test her. <laughs> Tell her to repeat what she, yes. Jesus. 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 My God, Enugu, give Jesus praise. Come. <laughs> I give the chains calling. Look at me. Put your hand in the ear that you couldn't hear with. That's the ear. Okay, hold my hands with the other one. In the name of Jesus, be open and you remain open forever. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Five years eye problem. A trace of glaucoma. Gone. A trace of glaucoma. Yes. Medically verified. Come. What's your name, my dear? For how long? It's been on. And now, just place your hand on your eyes. You're going to feel like fire coming to your eyes. In the name of Jesus, I minister the life and the power of the Spirit to you. It's gone. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Sir, pile, since 2000. Also, sorry, since 2015. Also. Yes. My goodness. While you were praying, he felt a sensation. And he was in pain, but the pains are gone right now. Please come. Can we have just one or two more? I really apologize. I would have loved to allow every, everyone share. But um, okay, let's just take maybe two more. Sir. Any striking two testimonies. Sir. And then I'll pray for the rest. Don't feel bad. Um, we we'll always have a platform. You can testify in your various churches or whatever platform you have available. This was the man who was healed of ulcer. What else do you do, my friend? You're a student. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for leadership on you. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release that grace upon you. Let it speak over your life and your destiny. In Jesus' name. Sir, she has had two major surgeries on kidney issues. Wow. And she has been having severe pains by the two right sides of the kidneys for 13 years and, and while you prayed run run any any pain any pain jump oh come on please give jesus praise surgery lay your hands you will not need to do any kidney transplant in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you and I pray that the power that raised Christ from the dead comes upon your body, perfection, wholeness for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Let also healed of ulcer pain ulcer. while you were praying. No, no, don't, don't go back. Come stand. Let me pray for you. There's a reason why you came out. Let her come. Congratulations, my dear. Stretch your hands towards all these people that the Lord has touched and just pray for them passionately from your heart. May the Lord bless you, my dear. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you. The Lord will use you mightily. I'd like you to speak, declare over their lives. The ones who came out and the ones who are scattered in the congregation, we declare, we declare perfection, we declare wholeness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, very quickly, please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment right now. Can we all rise? I have a covenant with God of answered prayers. The Lord has assured me that when I lift up my voice to Him, He will answer. We are going to pray. I want you to stretch your hands towards this request. And I want you to believe that these Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever if you are still here to drop yours just give it to the ushers quickly and let them bring it here please stretch your hands in one minute while i pray on his request go ahead stretch your hands begin to pray in the spirit i hear the chains falling shalabaruda sedebekaruto sodobranda kadabaladaba Sakratos koporoto shoprende barita salach 
Rakata Baranda Sada Balato Soto Pradi Epretizia Saleto Sada Branda Gadabaladaba Father turn aside and turn around the captivity of men in the name of Jesus visit families visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost Visit families in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please, um, I hope you do not mind. Let me just plead with our fathers, the leaders, Bishop Sir and, and Reverend, and then pastor please can you come just three of you as a point of contact um, let's celebrate them as they come we are going to stand and listen please help the bishop can I help you sir thank you let's celebrate them Hallelujah. Now listen, let me tell you what we are going to do. I'm going to hand over the mic to them, maybe for a minute or so. And each of them, they represent authorities in this land. And they are going to be speaking over your destiny and your life. Please, I'd like you to open up your spirit. Receive from the depth of your heart. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.